Okay, so in this poem we're told a hiker determines the length of a lake by listening for the echo of her shout, reflected by a cliff at the far end of the lake. She hears the echo two seconds after shouting. Estimate the length of the lake. So what we have here is this person, right? This hiker. They're going to be shouting, and then we know their shout is going to travel, right? Which is the sound. Their sound is going to travel uh, across the lake, and then it's going to bounce back, and it's going to come back into their ears, and they'll hear it. And so we know the time that this entire thing is going to take is two seconds. So we can say t equals two seconds. And so what we're trying to find uh, is this distance right here. We can call it d, which is just the length of the lake. And so the way we're going to solve for this is just by using the basic formula, distance equals velocity times time. So if we know the speed at which the sound of her shout is going to travel, and we know how long it travels for, then we know the distance it travels, right? So let's start with the time. So the time we know it takes two, or it takes one second to go there and one second to go back, right? Because we know it travels at the same speed traveling there and back, so uh, and then the same distance. So if we just divide this value by two, we know the time it takes to go there is one second, uh, time it takes to go back is one second. So if we set this interval d, right, which is this distance right here, and we say, okay, the time it takes to cross this entire interval, right, on the way there is one second. And then if we can figure out how fast her sound, or right, the sound is traveling of her shout, we can uh, know the distance, right? So for this, you just need to know the velocity of the speed of sound, which is 343 meters per second. So the velocity of the speed of sound from her shout, 343 meters per second. We know it's going to travel for one second to cross this entire thing. So 343 times 1. Notice the units are meters per second there. This is in seconds, so you just get meters. So it's basically just 343 meters. So your answer to this problem, right, the distance is going to be equal to 343 meters. And uh, yeah, so this D was the length of the lake. So this is going to be your answer. And then just quick rundown. So all we did was use D equals VT. And then we had to figure out how long it took to travel across the lake. And then we just needed to know the speed of sound, right? So this is going to be your answer. And hopefully you found this useful.